Let's get right to Steve Leisman. He's got a look at what to expect from the Fed today. And Steve, the market's retracement of the quick gains we saw after the inflation number yesterday maybe tells you a little bit about what they are anticipating hearing. Yeah, I'm not saying that I told you yesterday after the number came out to be more skeptical, Becky, but, but you I told us. did tell you that. Anyway, here's the debate today in the wake of that better than expected inflation report, whether the Fed is just a little closer to completing its rate hikes before pausing early next year. Investors are going to listen closely to Fed Chair Powell and whether he affirms their new pricing for what is now a somewhat lower peak funds rate. Take a look. Along with the sharp, with sharp declines in the 10-year and the 2-year yesterday, the expected peak funds rate fell from 499 before the inflation report to 482 this morning. That's for the May 23 contract. But there's some betting, increasing betting, that the Fed could be done as soon as March. After hiking today by an expected 50 to a new level of four and a quarter to four and a half, the futures market is trading with a 33 percent chance the Fed is done after one more quarter point hike in March. That'll leave you at 462. A 51 percent probability the Fed goes 50 to 488 and a 16 percent probability the Fed goes further to 513. That's the debate in the market right now. The Fed is expected to raise its own forecast of the terminal rate. We do get those projections today to near 5 percent. And investors, I think, should brace for some hawkish talk because Fed Chair Powell, he's been as focused on the tight labor market as he has been on high inflation numbers. J.P. Morgan writing this morning, we believe that persistent labor market strength means a majority of the FOMC is still likely to be concerned about doing too little than too much. We continue to see the Fed hiking to 5 percent in the first quarter of 2023. And before anyone gets too excited about anything and the Fed being too dovish, just remember this. The annual inflation rate is still 7.1 percent. The core is at six. There's a limit to just how dovish a Fed or a Fed chair is going to be, Becky, with those kind of numbers. I mean, I'm trying to figure out what he could possibly say, Steve, that, that would come as a shock or a surprise. I mean, I feel like I'm ready for anything. I, I think it's pretty simple what he says today, Becky. He's going to say those are good numbers. They're encouraging numbers. We got two in a row. It's not enough. I still need more evidence that that inflation is coming down. It's too early to pivot. I think he's going to do his best, maybe, Becky, to kind of jawbone those numbers a little higher. Uh, but he has to take into account the drift of the data. And I think what's going to happen is he's going to lean on the jobs in the labor market as being the sort of font of his concern over inflation. Um, He's just not ready to give up the ghost yet. The Fed is always going to be later than the market in these sorts of things. The market has to anticipate, wants to get this right. Obviously, there's money to be made at the end of the day. Uh, Powell has to get inflation right. He's got to get policy right. Um, and he's going to hang in there, I think, with his kind of hawkish talk, acknowledging the better data uh, until he feels like he can truly pivot and announce that pivot. Do you, Steve, still think we are in reverse Fed put mode do you think he sees the s p above four thousand would would he prefer it was thirty six hundred you know joe i've i've been a little bit skeptical on the fed put thing um there was this reverse at, of the fed put well at, at the, does he not like the wealth of does he think that makes it harder for him to do his job if the stock, i don't think he has rally you i don't, don't think, think he, he has any more disinflationary juice to be wrung from the market i think when the market was okay. really high I think he had a sense that there was some element of that that was pushing inflation. I think the Fed chair and the Fed itself are focused on yields. The market is a byproduct of that focus on yields, or the stock market, that is. I just don't think that these levels that he's thinking, oh, if I could get the stock market down, I could really solve the inflation problem. I think he sees yields and the bond market and the fixed income market as the major conduit of policy. Yeah. And at these levels, he's not really that exercised about uh, the stock market.